There's a moment in tech when something shifts, when a device doesn't just get upgraded, it gets reimagined. And right now, that moment belongs to Samsung. The Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just another flagship. It's the start of Samsung's next era. Leaks suggest this phone isn't playing safe anymore. It's bending the rules of performance, AI, and design in ways no one saw coming. And the craziest part, some of these features sound almost too futuristic to be real. But they are, and they're coming sooner than you think. Hey everyone, Sam here. Welcome back. If you love discovering the most mind-blowing tech updates before anyone else, don't forget to hit like, share this video, and subscribe for more deep dives just like this now. Let's dive into the real story behind the Galaxy S26 Ultra, because this one's got twists, surprises, and one major plot twist Samsung never wanted to leak. So here's the big one. Samsung is introducing a feature that could change how we use our phones in public forever. We've seen privacy protectors, we've seen screen filters, but the S26 Ultra? It takes it to another level. The new AI-powered Flex Magic Pixel display will literally adjust its pixels in real time to block side viewing angles. Picture sitting in a crowded cafe, typing your pin or checking private chats, and your screen automatically dims for others, staying bright only for you. No accessories, no glass protector, just pure software and hardware intelligence at work. That's the power of Samsung's new AI display system, and the best part, you'll have full control. Want it on only when you're entering passwords? Done. Prefer it to auto-activate when the phone senses other eyes nearby? It'll handle that, too. Samsung's turning privacy into a living, breathing part of your phone, and it's about time, but that's just one layer of what makes the S26 Ultra so fascinating. Underneath that futuristic display sits Samsung's most daring chip strategy in yours, the return of Exynos, and not just any Exynos. We're talking about the Exynos 2600, a chip that's been quietly built in the shadows while everyone assumed Samsung was done making its own processors. Leaks from Korean insiders reveal this silicon beast could outperform. Apple's A19 Pro and even the Snapdragon 8. Gen 5 Elite, the very chip it's sharing the stage with Dot now here's where things get spicy. Depending on where you live, your Galaxy S26 Ultra might be powered by either Samsung's Exynos 2600 or Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite, but Samsung's not splitting regions the way it used to. Early reports suggest around 30% of all S26 devices, mostly in Korea and Europe, will use the Exynos 2600, while Snapdragon handles the US, Japan, and China. Yet insiders say Samsung is actually considering going global with Exynos, a massive shift that could change the brand's entire identity. And if the early numbers are real, that might not be a bad thing. We're talking six times faster AI processing than Apple's A19 Pro, a 75% leap in graphics power, and 14% better multi-core CPU performance. For the first time in years, Exynos doesn't just compete, it dominates. This could be the year Samsung finally believes in its own chip again, but it's not just about power. It's about what that power enables. Samsung's new Galaxy AI suite is stepping into uncharted territory, features that blur the line between smartphone and personal assistant. Leaks mention a meeting interpreter that can translate voices in real time, a smart composer that writes your captions or emails from just a few keywords, and even a touch interpreter that scans and summarizes whatever's on your screen, text, images, you name it. Imagine scrolling through an article, long pressing a paragraph, and your phone instantly explains or translates it for you. This is where Samsung's AI edge truly begins to shine, and while the brains of the phone are evolving, so is its look. And this time, Samsung's listening to fans. Early case leaks show a refined, island-style camera bump, flatter edges, and a slimmer frame. It's not a wild redesign, but it's cleaner, bolder, and more premium, the kind of look that screams confidence rather than trying to hard. And here's something fun. Samsung's engineers are reportedly experimenting with a dynamic tint glass back that subtly shifts shades under light. It's not confirmed yet, but if it makes it to the final model, 
The S26 Ultra might literally change color depending on the time of day. Speaking of cameras, get ready for a shakeup. The S26 Ultra is packing the upgraded 200 MP HP to plus sensor, now with a wider F. One point for aperture for stunning low light shots. The difference? Sharper details, faster shutter response, and a noticeable boost in clarity during night photography. Samsung's also rethinking its zoom setup a 12MP3X telephoto, a new 50MP5X periscope lens, and a 50MP ultrawide shooter. All fine tuned for faster image processing and better color consistency. After years of complaints about washed out tones, Samsung seems to have cracked the color accuracy problem. And it's all thanks to an AI image pipeline that learns from your shooting habits. But here's where it gets interesting. Samsung's camera supply chain is getting a major shakeup. After two years of relying on Sony Optical, Samsung has decided to move parts of its camera production to Magnex, ensuring higher quality control for the periscope lens module. This isn't just a supply decision, it's a statement. Samsung wants the S26 Ultra to feel flawless from every angle, every shot, every zoom dot of course. A phone this ambitious needs serious battery and charging support. And while rumors hinted at 405 speeds again, the latest insider info says Samsung finally unlocking full 600 wired charging, a long-awaited jump that could take the S26 Ultra from 0 to 100% in just over half an hour. Combine that with the new Qi to magnetic wireless charging standard, and the S26 Ultra becomes Samsung's most convenient flagship ever. The magnetic ring helps align accessories perfectly, no more misplacement, no slow charging, no overheating, just efficient power. Every time dot now, let's talk about the display, the one feature that always puts Samsung ahead. Insiders are calling this new M14 old panel the most advanced smartphone display ever made. It's 35% brighter, 40% more efficient, and 60% cooler than the S25 Ultra's M13 display. That means higher brightness without battery drain, richer contrast, and a smoother viewing experience even outdoors. And yes, that tiny camera punch hole? Still there, but smaller than ever, practically invisible when you're streaming or gaming. And speaking of gaming, the S26 Ultra might just be the closest thing to a console in your pocket. With its AMD RDNA 3 based GPU inside the Exynos 2600, Samsung is literally bringing console level rendering to mobile. Early benchmarks hint at smoother frame rates, faster ray tracing, and almost no thermal throttling, even after long sessions. Pair that with the new vapor cooling chamber design, and you've got a phone that stays cool even when you don't. But just as fans were getting hyped, a twist hit the story, Samsung might be delaying the S26 lineup launch. Reports from Korea and Europe suggest that the event could move from early February to late March due to last-minute lineup adjustments. Apparently, Samsung canceled the planned S to 6 Edge model mid-development to focus on perfecting the S26 and S26 Plus, leaving the Ultra as the clear hero of the family. That delay could frustrate fans, but it also means more time for optimization. And after the S25's mixed reception, Samsung knows it can't afford to rush this one. Every leak, every rumor, every piece of insider info paints the same picture. The Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just an upgrade, it's a redemption story. Samsung is taking every lesson from its past, every criticism about Exynos, every complaint about camera inconsistencies every wish for faster charging and turning them into fuel for a flagship that truly feels next dash gen dot and here's a little easter egg from behind the scenes samsung's new internal slogan for this launch reportedly reads one step beyond that says it all they're not trying to match apple or chase xiaomi anymore the goal is simple to set a new standard for what a galaxy can be dot so as we count down to the official reveal, one thing's certain, the S26 Ultra won't just raise expectations. It'll redefine them dot thanks for sticking around till the end. You guys are the reason I love diving into these tech deep dives. Don't forget to like this video, drop your thoughts in the comments, and of course, 
hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Until then, stay curious, stay sharp, and peace out.